Welcome, welcome out to the Cosign Podcast, Culture and Music. I'm your host, Venom Vixen, a.k.a. OJV. And, of course, I got my homie with me. It's your boy, Sterling Stacks, a.k.a. Good Neighborhood, a.k.a. your homeboy's homeboy, a.k.a. I saw your old lady last night. She wasn't with me, but she damn sure wasn't with you. What's hood? What's hood? And if y'all heard last week's show, we're going to try our best not to argue. We're not going to argue this week. Mm. Oh, God. He's somebody a little upset still. Still light skin right now. <sighs> okay, well, all my co-signs out there, we have some special guests in the building. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. I'm going to start from my right, because she is a returning guest. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Mocha, MSG, LGF. How y'all doing? I'm glad to be here today. Okay, glad to have you. And okay, to my left of me. It's Mantha. It's your girl, Mantha. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Mantha dot underscore underscore. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, underscore, 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 yeah. underscore is a new thing. Yeah, I put underscore, I put underscore on my Snapchat name. Oh, uh, do you actually snap? It's my my Snapchat is Scrooge underscore McStacks. But you know the names be taken. Everybody yeah, yeah, everybody be taking names, right? Yeah. You gotta add an underscore. You gotta add some extra <laughs> shit to it, yeah. Gotcha. That's, that's crazy. Okay. We like to start the show off with something called the WTF of the week. What the fuck? Now, um, scamming is really at an all new high, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, the scamming <laughs> shit is getting like out of control, right? Definitely. So I was reading online that this man, so you know how like you on Facebook Marketplace, I don't know, y'all might be younger, y'all might not do that shit, but that's where I go get my washer and dryers and shit like that off oh, of there. Granny. Anyway. This man answered the ad and he wanted to check out a washer and dryer that was $350. So he's like, well, can I see if it works right first? So they let him wash his clothes. They let them use his Tide Pods. They, they're Tide Pods, you know, the good shit. You know what I'm saying? And after he washed and dried his clothes, he said he was going to get the money, then he left. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never heard it. He just wanted to wash his clothes. <laughs> he to wash his clothes. Hey, that's, that's a, a good one. one. Oh, for real. I that's never thought a, of that. I was okay, waiting. I was waiting. I was, waiting. Right? I was like, okay, and then he did. Oh, he, <laughs> he just took a. Oh man, got him. He got him some fresh shit. He got got the fresh good Tide pods yeah. in his shit. I wonder if they let him fold his shit too for yeah, you. Yes, he right? folded his shit out no. of that. Yo, that's crazy. That should have known he was gonna do that. Hey, holding the clothes. Shouts out to him, goddamn. When I'm cosigning <laughs> the scamming on washing your clothes, yo, that's a big cosign, yo. Yo, scamming is cool. No, it's real though. Right for now. real. Look, my pops called me yesterday, right? Right, and he was fucking fuming. You know what I'm saying? My pops almost seventy. He fuming, oh, right? Yeah. He like, I got a message. It said my. Bank accounts are closed and frozen. Oh, I gotta click shit. the link. I said, nigga, don't, don't sh- click the link, nigga. I said, you gonna wipe out the whole fucking family finances, nigga. Like, <laughs> don't click. He was hot, bro. Like, yo, how much how we ain't got no money? Why they freeze my accounts? I was like, he was on his old man shit. Scamming is definitely the old time high. It's not even gangsters no more, it's scammers. I'm I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit. There's an artist, an old school artist. I ain't gonna say his name, but somebody hacked his Instagram mm-hmm. and took like 20 bookings from her for oh. him. Oh wow, that's a lick. Whoa. Yeah, co-sign on that he too. Playing with money. Right, yeah. but but he think about it. You're yeah. sitting here thinking, damn, my Instagram been dry lately. You're not realizing no you can't even get in it. Somebody who's impersonating you was like, yeah, I can do that show. Send the money here. Send the money here. People who are used to communicating with you that way Yo. is communicating that way, and he's he's out of like like twenty different venues has sent booking money. Oh in. my god, and he ain't even show up. Man, have you, have, <laughs> he ain't even know. Have you been have you been know. scammed? I've never been scammed. You've never been scammed? I've never been scammed. Whoa, well, let me stop lying. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just, well, I just got scammed. It's <laughs> <What laughs> not recent. You, Yo. you ain't going to tell no names. You ain't going to tell no names. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't get my bins in my name. So the person I was paying, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what they was pocketing in my money. And they wasn't in the car gets... Did it yeah. get repo? Yeah. Oh, and then the crazy part is, but the crazy part is they had to get my job up because I got all the trackers taken out the car. So, oh, shit. Yeah, so that's So you had scam. to get my job up. My job is all the way in Myrtle Beach. Wow. So That's crazy. I got scammed like that on the crib once. Was paying the, was paying the rent and they wasn't paying the mortgage. Oh. And the motherfucker showed up with a foreclosure <laughs> shit. That shit happened to me twice. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Oh, See, I, I ain't fall for it again now. <laughs> How about you? Mo, you been scammed lately? I'm sorry. I'm the scammer. Let's scam oh. together because apparently <laughs> scammers are winning. No, I mean I want y'all to think about this when I tell this story. Like, what if you 
would be a scam, what type of scammer would you would you be? All right, now listen, I got scammed before Christmas last year, and this girl was putting out that she can make these name uh, necklaces, so I wanted mm-hmm. to get one for my daughter, and I thought it was cute. She's like, it would definitely be in time for Christmas. So me and a whole bunch of people cash app that How money. How much you done paid? You know, it, it was. It, let me tell you, let me tell you, she's a smart scammer. <laughs> it wasn't okay? that much. Because it wasn't that much. You get a whole so, bunch of people. So a whole lot of people for not too much, just enough where we ain't going to come hunt you down. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't enough okay. for me to waste my time and try to find you, but it's just See, enough it be to be the like. It, it, yeah, see, that's I'm what it was for me. I'm yeah. a hothead. I'm with you. But stuff like that, about like that car, I had to charge it to the game. I can't. Yeah. I'm, that shit hurt. Like, nigga got my me. Fellow, I mean, yeah. I'm. No, it happens. Like I think the, somebody tried to scam me on some shoes a couple weeks ago. Actually, you know what I mean? Like, and it was like they, I ain't never seen these type of. Eight. They was dope. She was saying they was custom, and she did them. Right. So I knew they wasn't like from Nike, but I knew they was a ones that was. And she was like, "Boom!" You know, I said, like, "All right, bet I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send you that." And then like the next day, somebody commented and tagged me and commented like, "Yo, don't do it." I sent her my money. I ain't get shit. And I was like, "Oh." She almost got me. Oh, you didn't go all the way through. I didn't go all the way through. I was about to send her the money for the shoes, though. Now, you know my ultimate scam that still haunts me to this day. I have a little glimpse of moments where I'd be like, fuck, I'm going to fuck this person up. (laughs) But you know when I got scammed on my store? Oh, yeah. Because I signed a lease with somebody who, come to find out, the lease that they had on the building was not. They were subleasing to me. Their lease was a scam. So it was like everybody got scammed everybody in the situation. And what it makes it so bad is it's like the person who I gave my money to, they got scammed. They, got scammed they lost too. money. And you want to be like, I want to punch you in the face. Yeah, but I do fun. understand you got scammed too. too yeah. But because of yeah. your not not knowing what your shit is, I trusted you. My lease is with you. I don't lost not just my down payment. I bought brand new grids and uh, oh, counters, you, you, the spot racks up. you weren't supposed to do shit. that. Yeah. I done got the place painted and all this shit, mm. and all of a sudden we're all locked out the building. I never got all my shit back. And every time I think about that shit, it's, it sends that little twitch to you. Yeah. It's okay because I ain't get my stuff out my car either. So see, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I ain't see. Okay. it be okay, important yeah. shit in the car too. For man. real, yeah. yeah. I'm talking yeah. about uh, for all my clothes, see. Damn. Yeah. The so women you always when they repo women stuff, they know they'll let you at least come get your stuff out. They okay. It's not in my name. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's, so oh, it was in a, it was in the CPN. So <laughs> man, you know what? Yeah, um, no shots out to the scammers, man. I'm just being real, man, because I know that I see a lot of scammers out here, and they look like dope boys, and they moving like dope boys or whatever. But really, you just swiping a card, or printing a fake check, and but just you to gotta be, know yeah. what come with that though. Yeah, I yeah. can't do we'll it. What come with it, sis? I mean, calm a bitch. It, but it's levels to scamming. You can't be scamming. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is spicy over here. Hold on, wait. I feel all the paprika over here. What what comes with it? I don't ever let stuff go away. <laughs> I have brothers Vengeance. for that. Vengeance. Oh, okay. Okay. Vengeance okay. Shall but not be like mine. that. But no, but I said karma too. Karma gonna come back. Karma like, is yeah. real. Karma, karma, karma is a, a very harsh reality, you know, for a lot of people. And you, when you start getting stung by it in your life, I hope that people think back to how they got there. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that just this happened to you. You've mm-hmm. been putting out bad seeds for a long time. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely no co-sign to no the scammers. No co to the scammers. And, yeah, um, yeah. you know, yeah. I hope all of them get it. Get fucked with yeah, a sick dick. Yeah, the long dick. way. Yeah, the right, the long way. Yeah. I I, even... Mocha was with me. That's the crazy part. See, that is... <laughs> <laughs> Just Mocha, Mocha. I didn't, but, but Mocha. did I cry? I want, I wanted to cry so bad, but I didn't cry because I'm like, okay, I can get another car. I'm not right. tripping. Yeah. So now right. I got a scat on the way. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Three ninety two, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. That's how you bounce back on that. That's the ass. how you bounce back. Yeah, now you no. gotta pull back up to the job. No, like, yeah. Right, that's the yeah. shit though. I mean, like whenever somebody, I always learned that back in the day. Whenever somebody do shit to you, like the be- best way to like get them back is to show that the shit really ain't bother me. It ain't fake. Mm-hmm. It ain't stop my motion. What I'm yeah. doing, whatever. Yo, like, I'm like, gonna tell you this no lie. That situation with the store, I had got to the point I was so hot. Right, I put on my status that by January 31st. Because we did agree to a certain amount of money he was going to give me, right? If he didn't give you if money back. If he didn't give it, I was not holding no motherfucking names, right? You got your money too, ain't it? January 31st came. My cousin told me, take a deep breath first. So I said, okay. So I called his wife. And guess what? The nigga in jail. Two days before he was off parole, he got violated. Niggas <laughs> can't even be mad. Can't even get your money back. Oh, oh. My yeah, that's a lot. Of, yeah, but oh, but but the, that's but, some karma for you. I was like, you know what, bro? You need a little bit more than me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you hold two it. days before you was about to be off parole. Two karma. days, karma, you violated bitch. your karma. Mm-hmm. Karma, real. She don't miss. She don't miss. Oh man, she don't miss. 
at all, bro. I'm, 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 I'm a grown okay. oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. right. Oh, I, I love that. I, I love that. Carmen's a grown ass man. I learned don't fuck nobody over, bro. That's just your mama used to tell you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, what goes around comes around. What? For real. Nah, yeah, I don't fuck nobody over. So, yeah. I lie. I'm a liar. I'm going to lie my way out of a situation. I swear to God, I'm going to lie. We is not going to jail. We, I'm yeah. gonna lie. I'm a good ass yeah, lie too. We get on through, baby. We yeah. go home. And yeah. it came back on my ass, and it actually happened. I said, "Oh my god, why did yeah. I say that?" Yeah, man, you gotta be careful though. So you yeah, gotta no, be careful. No group <laughs> sign on the scammers and Queen scammer moke over here, and, and <laughs> she said it. She said it. She meant and, it. And just know, if you out here claiming somebody's kids that ain't your kids that you don't take care, you are a scammer. Mm. Mm. I've like done it before. Bottom. So oh wait, I've I, done it before. Oh, wait, I've done it, it before. I told her so. I'm just playing. It's, 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 it's <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But, but people don't realize it's so many different. Like, you know, we, because that's why I just wanted to say that because, like, some people get on the high horse and be like, oh, them, I'm saying. But we've all done some things. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. We've cut a corner. We've done this. It's just the only, the scammers I don't care for is the ones who get the elderly because they, you know, they're trying to navigate this new world and all this technology. And I, we take care of a couple elders myself and they fall for everything. I mean, be quick. At least mine will see something and then she want to call customers. Mm-hmm. Nah, this nigga. <laughs> she nah, be on the phone with everybody customer service. Bro, this nigga yeah. was mad. You know my pops. This nigga was mad as fuck yesterday. Why my bank account's frozen? It's like, nigga, don't, it's not frozen. don't click don't the click link, bro. I, mean, I got the same message. Say my first citizen's account was frozen. Nigga, I don't even have a first citizen's account, don't nigga. Don't open like, that shit. Oh, God. I swear to God. You know what I mean? So Don't open that. All yeah. right. So this is something we hadn't talked about yet on the show, but it's been making its way through social media. He might, I don't know. We'll see how y'all feel about this. So we're going to talk about Marcus Houston real quick. <laughs> y'all know who it is? Look, I'm looking like I know y'all see y'all. He's what? from the legendary group BTK, right? BTK? Or the one before no, that? Immature. No, the one before that. No, I'm sorry. He's the one immature. that birthed BTK. It's immature, I'm sorry, right? immature. Okay, yeah, I'm immature. Sure. Okay, my bad. Anyway, so you know his wife is 22 and he's 41. They originally <laughs> met when she was 17. He said they did not begin talking till she was 18 and then they were married two years later would have made her almost 20 and this is what he had to say because they're starting to fire him up online me and my wife's situation is a little different how we met through a mutual friend who was chris stokes <laughs> pedophile and i don't know if y'all know he's been called out for saying that he was diddling with them boys back in the day yeah. anyway um we had no real conversation, no real connection until, you know, she was of age. I hate that statement. Mm. People don't understand it. I got a lot of backlash for marrying someone that was 19. He continued in the now viral clip. When we did finally start to talk, I was like, this woman is like me. And when I would talk to her, she just, for one, we had a spiritual connection. And I feel that the most important thing, we love God. We both love Jehovah. God ain't got nothing to do with it. And this is the key. Okay, so what do y'all think about that age gap? Okay. I think because I, I don't know how to explain it because my mom and my dad are 13 years apart. Okay. That ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't twenty that ain't twenty two. That ain't that ain't that ain't twenty two. I didn't get to my grandma Wait. and my papa. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> my <Okay>. grandparents. <laughs> so like, I think I think they're um I wanna say nineteen, eighteen years apart. So it's like that's a long time ago though. That, that shit happened back then. Now, now, now is back this, then. Okay, so did they marry? Like, was Grandma young, young when they got married? Like, actually, my mom was actually young. My mom probably was nineteen, eighteen when she met my okay, dad. So she married about a. Uh, they wasn't married though. Thirty three year old. Okay, thirty. Yeah, All so right. he was like thirty three. My mom was like. I, when I look at, it, I was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> like when I look at my daddy now, I'm like, daddy, oh, this hell, my mama young. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And like and he just be like, your daddy used to be the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just be looking he, at him he was like, that nigga. like, daddy, you was, I ain't gonna call him ugly, but daddy, you is not it right now. And then when he showed me, I'm like, that is not you. He had a six pack. Now he got, a, he rocking a fat pack. I was like, dad. Well, younger women like older dudes. That's always that is true because I like it. older dudes. I don't yeah. like, I don't, I don't like people my age. Like, I don't like a a male my age. Maybe it's because I grew up because of that. My dad's side, all of my siblings are older than me. So okay. they're in their thirties right now. And I'm, I'm still, I'm 23. Right. So it's like, you got a nice little age gap. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
What do you think? Like, I mean, I'll talk to an older men. I have before. I'm 25. So. Okay, but you're a little bit more into consent. Because I, cause I hate when they say when you become age 18 and 19. Now, at 18. It's still got a teen on it. Yeah, it's still got a Yeah, now she, he should have yeah. married her when he was 21. Yeah, 20, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, as, as an 18, 19 year old, I've talked to older men. Of course, so did I. Not that old. Yeah, Don't be I looking mean, at me like that. I just, I don't. When I was it's in a, high school, it's a problem for this person, but it ain't no problem for this person. So, I mean, I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna talk to an older man if I was there. I mean, you can't stop girls like older men. Yeah, but it's wrong when a man likes a younger woman, or you know, people feel well, more some type I of way. I think what it is is when there's too much of an age difference. There's a power struggle. There's a power yeah. indifference. Forty years old and nineteen is a lot of yeah, it is. different power. Forty years okay, old yeah. is like you know that that That's you know he daughter. can he like, can he could, her, he could her record head. that man could either there's two outcomes she's gonna come out a great woman or she's gonna be wrecked he's either gonna fuck her up indefinitely right. or gonna he's gonna uplift game. her and I'll put her on game. another level and she doesn't understand like she's still young like mm-hmm. I know when I was um. My ex, when I was with him, it was like I had just turned 21. I could like st- I used to run D1 track, so it was like it was always track, school, sleep, track, school, sleep. So it was like I didn't have that experience. I didn't get the really like the college experience. So when I um, stopped running track and I left school, I turned 21. I was in a club, ready to party. He was on some type like grown man shit. He was on his grown. He was on, on his so shit. he was trying to steer. He you was right. like he was trying to steer me right, but I was young. I. I I'm allowed to drink, nigga. I'm going yeah. to the club. <laughs> <Come out. laughs> so, like, I you had an experience. So, his, you know, me and Stax go away. I had an experience, and I started dating an older guy in middle school. He was already, like, 18, 19. So, when I got mm. to high school, he was trying to start for my growth because he saw I got in high school. I started getting popular, mm-hmm. doing this, doing that. And then he became, he became abusive because he saw, like, that control that he had when I was the little girl going to the payphone, put my 10 cent in, calling him at lunch. Mm-hmm. Then I'm getting, I'm mm-hmm. starting to flourish. And he saw that control slipping like and he started becoming abusive. You I know just what don't, I'm saying? I just don't think it works out. And I'm going to tell you from a male perspective and I'm going to tell you from a man who is over 40. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? My birthday next week. I have no shame. I'll be 44. When I meet girls who are in their 20s sometimes, and it's not that I'm chasing a girl in her 20s. When you get to conversate and she says, hey, I'm in my 20s. I'm a, I'm a type of nigga where I already know, you know, life. And I know you know, the shit that's going on. So right now you 20 something and you saying, Oh, I fuck with all the niggas. I'm cool. I could do that. But it's a, so much more life to live. I feel like, and I'm just being real and Lord knows I love me some pussy, but I will turn down. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it's so much more life to live. You think that you want to holler at me. You think that you want to be with me, but, but Unc in the house in the bed by 10, 10 o'clock, he ain't doing nothing <laughs> Sunday through Thursday. I'm going to work or whatever. Our goals are different or whatever. And I never want to stifle a woman's growth. Now it can work if she's mature. Like, if she's mature beyond her years, and you can guide and her, and not. you might still got a little youth in you to keep like up. Like she was saying, she wanted to party, and he was like, right. I, know I, she's not. I know she's not. Because not. I said the same thing. I said, I'm mature. You know what I'm saying? I said the same thing. But I'm you're not, mature, though. And yeah, I'm like, not. Yeah, yeah, like, I wasn't. Not you, not pretend, but I'm saying, like. You're, you're mature for the age you're yeah. at. Right. You not know what I mean? to be with no damn 40-year-old and, man. And I'm going to be real with you. As when I see niggas who are my age are younger, and they be plotting on girls in their 20s and their 30s, I think you're a fucking pedophile. I'm just being real. Because there's a lot of grown-ass women. I'm 40. I can date a woman anywhere from like 35 and up or whatever. It's a lot of badass grown women got their shit together. But I feel like some men try to manipulate, control when they mm-hmm. get a young, with a younger woman. And like you said, if she's popping and she decides to buck back, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That can turn like physical really and violent. Ugly. And yeah. that's not cool. There was a young lady just lost her life. 16 was dating like a 20 year she 8 year old crazy, man. man he lied to her about her age but the same thing happened when he found out when she found out he was 28 not 20 and then you know she tried to push back he eventually did kill her you know what I'm saying because she bucked back and man. then he was like nah I'm not gonna let you go and I feel like older niggas can't get no motherfucking proper woman so they go for a young girl who they can lie to and they can goddamn make no you know, set up this whole little thing that an older woman can see straight through. Mm. Whatever that mean. You you old, that. Like, for real, like, an older woman gonna see straight through that. I know people mm-hmm. who can't date women they age because they not up to par. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So they gotta go for somebody who will settle for a nigga with a little bit Ooh, less. Them guys you know gonna, get them. 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 They gonna get your ass They gonna get your ass Shit, I'm good at that. I, you, y'all know, I don't pull no punches, and I'm gonna keep it real honest. Niggas, they like to manipulate women. You know what I mean? So, no, nah, I don't think that's cool. Marcus Houston can, can kiss my ass. He's a fucking lying pedophile. Mm. I don't know where the fuck you in your late 30s or mid 30s and you meet a 17 year old. I ain't met a 17 year old unless then, she was my then, goddamn people's right. daughter or something. And then you meet a 17 yeah. year old. What the fuck you, you wait a year to catch back up we with him. We didn't talk till she and was then, legal. But I mean, then, man, fuck out of here, the man. The crazy part is, like, 
Younger, I done seen younger girls younger than me look like they older than me. Oh, they all look they, they look real older now. Yeah. They I really look do. Like a baby. I don't know what y'all eat. I don't know what they eating. You know I'm what I mean? So that's just they do look a different they, type of grown yeah. now. But the thing is, we know that. We know that now in high school, they're wearing bundles and they're wearing lashes. We didn't get that. I don't know about y'all. I know we weren't doing that. The most we got is like micro braids. That's what was popping when I was in school. Micro braids was like the closest yeah. thing to weave for me no when I was braids. in school. But hold on now. But hold up. No <laughs> That's where we used to wear the micro braids. I can't wait, wait, micro braids. I got a disclaimer, though. I had to knock off in three hours. I had to shake that shit. Nice. I got a disclaimer, though. It's definitely okay, I think, to fuck somebody who might be 15, 16 years younger than you. But building a relationship with them, I think, is you different. You scared me at first. Yeah, no. yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, you did. You did. No. Stop the damn if you podcast. If you, if, you meet, if, you meet, if, you meet bad, if you meet a bad chick and she had to be 25 and you 44 and she say, I want to roll with you tonight. And y'all, That's different, though. 25 and 44. You, she, said, she was 17, 19. Yeah, that's, that's big difference. Right, you're right. Big difference. That's what I want to say, though. I don't want to hate on all the niggas who like young girls. Because some of them just get some cut up and leave me. Yeah, she was definitely still in high school. Like... But she was a runaway. This shit gets way deep. Wait, what? She, she was a runaway. She yeah, was missing. Is, Her people didn't know where the fuck she was. So how the fuck Marcus Houston? She, yeah, she said they met in the church. In the church. The church. That's that girl ain't run away and go to no damn church. Ain't no <laughs> way. But that's even worse, though. <laughs> you nah. got, this shit get worse yeah. and worse. <laughs> this story get worse oh, and worse. Oh, let me run away. I'm going to take my ass to You can get some cut up, though. You just can't wife her. You can't try to manipulate her and hold her down. Like, if she want to give you some cut up, cool. I ain't going to trip on that because she is of age, honestly. But wifing them and trying to control them. Okay, them we're going to get into this music, crazy. but right. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say them young girls, just be careful because, see, when them little boys be talking about what they slanging and what they doing, I always laugh and I hear them on their little songs. I'd be like, little boy, please. Grown man dick is something else, and you may want to be careful when that's what you want to deal with. Grown man dick and how you doing some dumb ass shit, okay? Oh. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> So I just, just I caution young girls jumping on that grown man dick. This shit gonna have your ass sick. Mm. It's okay. It's in one of our songs. I'm yeah. not talking about that. I'm not talking about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Say no more. Twitty, who you that. got queued up first? We gonna get into our music. Who's first swacking? Who I'm talking to first? Oh, y'all got a song together. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it's this called, collab y'all got. The song we have, um, it's directed to people. Okay. It's called Shots Fired. Oh, mm. uh, I want to hear this. It's called Shots you know, Fired. No. If you know, you know. But she didn't like we scared to say names, but we just Whoa, keep yeah. on that level of maturity. You know Long as you ain't shooting at the old nigga, I'm cool. I'm cool. I want to hear it. I like it. Long, <laughs> I ain't throwing no shots at the old nigga. But um, DJ Smitty, No Mix. DJ No Mix. You know what the fuck, Corn? Beat me at the beat mode. He got a bitch for all of my dick. You and your bitch can suck on this click. He fell in love with these ass and these titties. Stingy bitch, can't get the kitty. I'm really the goat. I keep a Glock with a beam in my toe. I ain't no crip, but I hang with them lows. Real shit, I do not allow. We are not friends, we are not pals. Don't give a fuck. Was there for the vibes? Can't fuck with these niggas. They all telling lies. Pussy great with a pretty face. Ain't tripping about none of these bitches. Soon as I whip out a titty, he raises and suck it. He like him a classy bitch, but he love what I'm nasty. Bust to the window. Now he hate me the way we was fucking. Me going crazy, laid on my back while he licked on his click. You would think I'm his bitch. Heard he was deep, I ain't ducking no smoke. I know some secrets like you doing coke. Ran up the chat, but I heard I was broke. Said you gon' do this and that, you really a hoe and you scary. That's really your fat. Dirty bitch. Uh, uh, I can't get money, shit. He wanna get money, bitch. I can get that money quick. I can put him on the shit. If she blank, then I'm gon' click. Jim Bo with that cow nick. Swerve do with no top on it. Throwing foes in every pit. Uh, this bitch so fucking rock. Yeah. This bitch gon' fucking cost. Uh-huh. This bitch don't take no loss. I'm my own fucking boss. Money moves, money made, money train, bitch. Paper checks, paper tags. I'm on that same shit. Wake up like I'm the shit. Blue paper on me, legit. I might forgive, I don't forget. I'm chilling with them takers, bitch. I can't fuck with fakers, bitch. Niggas do more hate and shit. Pull up for that flake and shit. Big mo' cup, ass and shit. Early that bitch, I need my money. He had it well, I started running. Put that Glock on him, I got him running. Laugh at a nigga, but ain't shit funny. He fuck me good. Started coming, running your mouth, telling your niggas for clout. What up a nigga like it ain't a drought? Pussy good and it's all on his mouth. Fake veneers and them fake chains. <laughs> Order them bitches off Amazon. Close your mouth when the camera's on. Lil' baby, put your pimples on. All of y'all bitches is weird as fuck. Yeah. Think that's your nigga, you really ain't cuff. Yeah. Bitches ain't tough. It's up in the stuff. If men are gon' bust, then Michael gon' bust. <laughs> On our head and shit, but bitches ain't on shit. Niggas ain't on shit either. Y'all know what the fuck it is. Y'all know what the fuck it is. I'm ready for war, ho. Any bitch can get it. Any nigga can get it. Okay. Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. I go to the right. I was in there. You know, I don't normally let the song ride all the way. No, look. I'm, I'm, look. No, like I'm, I'm in, look. I'm in there on that. I feel like what I like 
about it. I'm a real harsh critic. I like the beat. I like the production. I like the fact that, you know, most women, a lot of times when they rapping, they doing the ass, titties, thongs. I feel like that video, y'all going to be in ski masks. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's about, yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought about it. It was yeah. Joe. I like that. I, like, I, like, I, like, I, I thought about it. I like a mask in a bikini, but either way, a ski mask at some point <laughs> in that bitch. I like hearing the, I like the two different styles. Like, they were they were distinctly different. Like, I didn't have to say, like, okay, which one was you or which right. one was yeah, you? Yeah, I looked over mm-hmm. here like, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. And I felt the story. I was in it. You know, I'm a lyric. He's the beat one. You heard the crazy. Far, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She said she was busting out yeah, windows. Busting out windows. Busting out windows. He hate me. The way we was fucking had yeah. me going crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah. so he ordered his shit off of Amazon. I did. The chains Cause in Because niggas videos. be doing that. They do. Hey. Or they go to those little jewelers. You know, ever see them on Instagram? Mm-hmm. They be like, yeah, they they'll show up with the water on it and stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. Or they go to the kiosk. <laughs> little kiosk right. in the oh, mall. Yeah. Oh, they, they, they be killing me. If I see you at that kiosk, oh, yeah. oh, we need That's something. a whole nother podcast, man. That nigga got a big ass $30,000 chain on driving a Honda. That shit don't make no, no sense. None of it makes sense. <laughs> no sense. But none no, I like the sense. track, though. That, that's dope. That, that, yeah, that, I, I do. I feel like y'all vibed off each other off of that one. You know what I mean? And, I, and, and y'all were telling some personal shit, too, on the low. I feel uh, like y'all were telling some uh, personal shit. Y'all had some personal experiences in there on the low. I know some secrets you know, you like you doing a coke. Shots fired. Shots, Shots fired, fire, right? Fire. <laughs> I'll Shots fired. I'll drink that. Yeah, I enjoyed y'all. Okay, so tell our listeners how they can continue to support you, follow you, all that good stuff. Start. Y'all can t- continue to support us and follow us on Instagram. You can follow me at M-O-C-A-M-U-L-A um, on all platforms. Mocha Moolah. Uh, I'm about to drop a single too, first off, so be on the lookout for that. Okay. And y'all can follow me at underscore Mantha, M A N T H A dot underscore underscore on all platforms. And yeah. Well, I definitely enjoyed you young ladies today. This one's spicy over here. This mm. little this little paprika over here. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. my songs are spicy. Right? <laughs> I, think, I believe it. I don't even gotta I don't even gotta talk to a person. They they know. Mm-hmm. Right. Piss me off, you get put in a song. That's <laughs> shit, bro. That's y'all wanted. That's y'all wanted. She yeah. gave you one warning and you heard it on the telco uh. side. <laughs> And she can send me every one of them because I'm going to play. Right, she's going to play every last song. I'm going to be over here in the corner and shit. <laughs> Mocha, so you was here before and Stax was actually sick. So this is your mm. first time getting to meet Stax. This is yeah. what you missed out on last time. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. yeah, yeah. So, but I appreciate you holding it down, though. You know what I mean? Course, so, yeah, I, I get sick once a year. That was, that was my once a year. Yeah, you sick all the time. Oh. Every two mm-hmm. weeks. Or maybe sickening. You drank all that Hennessy by yourself. Definitely. Oh God, no. Not not today though. This is the remnants from last night. I messed night. myself up last it's, it's night. It's the remnants. I don't drink alcohol. I just drink Hennessy. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I can't drink a beer or none of that shit. I we, do not know why Smitty thinks he knows how to live. That uh, how I'm supposed to read. Lips. Read his lips. Yeah. Y'all married? Y'all keep, can't read his I lips. No, I'm not. Yeah. Not yeah. supposed to know that. Yeah. No. Okay. Who's her? Okay. The PD okay. is telling you what to do. He could have texted me. This or is this is where we fall out. Would have had a we, ding. My phone's not connected. You want me to help you write a song? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shit, Thank Smitty, you. Get her yes, now. yes. Get her now, sweetie. Uh-oh. I need. Get her now, sweetie. You gotta be the diss track. Fire you about part to be the track, two. <laughs> and don't get it twisted. Listen to them. T- 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 I started out doing spoken word. Bitch can snap on the mic yeah, now. I'm pretty nice with it now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Call Smitty. your tape sincerely the cosine. Ooh. Mm. I, I'm going to need it. Mm-hmm. We're going to need it. We're going to need it. Oh, now he's trying to cut us off. We're going to need a share. We're going to need a share. I like the idea of that. But, uh, all right, what's your, what's your single name? Yeah. Peanut, oh, Cal- oh, hey, Peanut Gallery. <laughs> we are on the radio. No, yeah, something like that. Jesus. We are on the Yes, we are on the TV, Spotify, iHeartMedia. stations. Media. We're on the radio. Yeah. All right, what's the song? We're going to go out on this. So, stay, say your, uh, your last one. Uh, stay hydrated, watch your kids, goddamn it, keep God first. You know what I'm saying? And is that it? Yeah. yeah. This it, is this it, is Mula Mocha. Yeah. And this is her new single. Go ahead and tell me what it is. It's first off, y'all. Big Mocha bitch. Big Mocha bitch. I like that. First off, fuck these niggas. 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 
I gave him my all, but that nigga wasn't mine. What you wanna win? Just repay me with your time. How you put me last? I put my life on the line. How you leave me on that plane single every time? Man, fuck that. I ain't finna listen to no lies. I don't trust that. I can feel the truth all in your vibe. I take my look back. Bitches really raw rats. Ain't no saving me for later. Once I leave, I ain't coming back. Roger that. How about the spot where your head at? How about the whips you be driving with my keys and my bread at? How about the money you be posting? How you spread that? How about the straps you be sharing where your lead at? Niggas flexing on the bitch that they really need. I ain't them hoes that's gonna chase you. I'm a different breed. I'm in the league of my own at a different speed. And I won't double back no more, nigga. That's guaranteed. First off, fuck these niggas. 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 Uh. Y'all make sure you stream my girl, man. Get them streams up. Co-signers. I feel like I ain't going fuck another nigga. I let that hurt motivate me, make my bad bigger. Popping bottles with my bitches, really expensive liquor. You a clown without the mask, just look in the mirror. Drop the weight of a weak nigga, I feel like different. Took them blinders off my eyes, ain't no being ignorant. Can't compare me to nobody, ain't no chick equivalent. Young and handle all my business, hoe, I'm built different. I ain't raising no more niggas, I ain't fucking breed. Put this pussy in your face, I know I'm Good deeds. All that shit I had except you gotta feel me. I felt that pain up in my soul, but it ain't kill me. I know that's right. Y'all, yeah. man, y'all check out these sisters. Yeah. Keep following, keep supporting. Please. I love to see it. We got it. a whole lot coming. I know yeah. y'all do. And you know, we're going consi- to continue on, you know, keeping y'all on the coastline, keeping them abreast of what y'all got going on. Yeah, make sure y'all pull back up, definitely. Always, always. I'm, I, com- we I'm coming got, drunk next time. You coming drunk? Yeah. Oh, let's do it. We do everything. You let's do it then. You want to do I had a hangover, so I couldn't drink. Like, I had, hang on. Look, I'm still going. I ain't, we, we ain't, hang yeah, you told us to stay hydrated. You yeah. hydrate off liquor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Water, yeah, water, wine, yeah. and Hennessy. That's it. Water, wine, and Hennessy. That's, Damn. All, I, that's, all, that's all I drink. He just sipping it like it was water, wine, and Hennessy. Water, wine, and Hennessy. Yeah. That's it. I thought I got sick. Yeah, we had to go for Nico okay. kick us out the yeah, studio. Yeah, kick us out the studio. I mean, shouts out to Need the Geek. You know what I'm saying? So Put him in the song and kick us out now. Right. Shots fired. <laughs> part three. Yeah. Smitty, you got part two. Shots yeah, fired, part three. She go punch Nick in the song if he kick us out the studio. I'm being executive, I'm being executive <laughs> producer because clearly I don't want no shots fired at me. That, I love that, man. She is hilarious. You are so damn funny. Okay, let me go and close. I appreciate Please. you, for, yeah, ladies, for coming out. Um, shout out to MSG. Shout out to y'all movement, everything y'all doing. We will continue to build this thing, baby. I see what y'all doing, and I uh, appreciate y'all supporting because it takes artists like y'all to keep platforms like these going. Yep. And we appreciate everybody. So I appreciate everybody listening, streaming, and watching. Say we it. Out. It's the co sign. Bitch. Bitch. B I T C H.